Hey everyone, welcome to this match review. Manchester United, Newcastle. Very pissed off, guys. Extremely pissed off. Like, is this what we waited two weeks for? Is this what we sat international break waiting, anticipating the comeback of this team? Is this what it was? All our, all our players did well over the international break with their various countries. They show up for Manchester United and look at what happens. Look, I, I get it. You know, a lot of our players were actually on the international break and actually played games, unlike a lot of the, um, unlike the few Newcastle players that actually went to the international break. I get that, guys. But it's still, there's still no excuse for today's performance. Like, nobody stood out today. Absolutely nobody stood out today. It's very disappointing, guys. Like, from the first minute, Newcastle was all over us, guys. All over us. Ran our entire midfield. Ran our midfield to the ground. Sabitza had a few chances. Bruno Fernandes, once again, big game moments, big game. He's nowhere to be seen, guys. Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. I'm very tired. I'm really sick and tired of people defending this guy week in, week out. There's a stat that came out. This guy has the most minute played in all of Europe. I get it. He doesn't get injured. But guys... We have enough players on the bench that are versatile enough that we can switch it up. Bruno doesn't have to start every game. Even if he starts, because Ericsson is not back yet. Even if he starts, he should not be finishing games. Like, what did Bruno do today on this field? What did Bruno do today that deserved him playing 90 minutes? And don't give me this BS of we didn't have any other options. We've seen Ch Sancho playing a 10. Um... Deservably, Werkers need needed to be taken out today. And thank God Martial is back. And I hope Martial stays fit. That's one that's a that's a that's a wish for another day. I hope he stays fit. But he showed us today what a number nine should be doing in the box. Werkhurst, I love you, I defend you, but sometimes we need more than just your work rate. I'm happy to see Martial is back. He had a few link up plays with Sancho. Um, Sancho too looked a bit, a bit bright when he came on but guys why is Bruno Fernandes week in week out finishing games we've like I said we've seen Sancho play in the 10 he has been decent you know Anthony yes Anthony was a little bit frustrating today but I think he did a lot more than Bruno did for us Bruno lost the ball so many times I couldn't count he put us under so much pressure that it was better if he wasn't on the field. And what did he do best? He did more complaining than actually playing the game, guys. Like, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of people defending this guy because, you know, when we play, you know, I don't know what team, what team can I even use? We play like a Southampton and all of a sudden, or Everton, all of a sudden Bruno Fernandes shows up world class. Guys, like we can't be doing this week in, week out. We're going to get found out in the big games. Imagine us, like, now we're at risk of Europe, of Champions League next season. And even if we do make Champions League, which I, I am confident that we will make Champions League. Even if we make Champions League, we can't go in with this midfield. Especially Bruno leading the line. We can't. And all of you guys that are saying, give Bruno the captain armband. Give Bruno the captain armband. Guys, we need to stop this. Because Bruno getting the captain armband means that we're not getting free rid of this guy. Bruno can be a team player, but he can't be the main guy in midfield. I'm sorry. I've sat here and watched him for season after season. Nothing has improved in his game. I'm not a huge KDB fan, but do not compare Bruno to KDB. Do not compare Bruno to Odegaard. These are real number 10s in the game. Stop comparing him to them. Bruno only plays well when, we, when we're on the counter, when we're on the break, when the other team hasn't reset, doesn't get the chance to reset. All of a sudden, Bruno is dynamite. He's the best player we have on the pitch. If it's not counter-attacking and the team is given a lot of space, Bruno is useless, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to gaslight one player, but I'm just so sick and tired of what I saw today. I'm just so sick and tired of it. And yes, a lot of players did not do well. But not every player... Like, why was Martinez coming off today? Why was Martinez coming off today? 
over Bruno. I know, yes, they don't play the same positions, but you can tweak the team in a way that you can keep Martinez there, leave Anthony on the pitch with Sancho. Now we can stretch both sides of the pitch. Come on, guys. Like, we need to start thinking. We need to start thinking. I'm a little disappointed today. And one last thing. David De Gea, like I said in the headline, David De Gea is not the problem. At least he's not the primary problem at Manchester United. All of you guys are talking about, you know, we need a, we need a, a goalkeeper that plays from the back. We need a goalkeeper that does this, a goalkeeper that does that. A goalkeeper's responsibility is to put the ball, is to keep the ball away from the net. Which David De Gea continues to do week in, week out for us. He does it week in, week out for us, guys. And once again, he showed why he still deserves to be United's number one. At least for the next season or two. He deserves to be, um, you deserve to be United's number one. We, our midfield needs critical help, guys. We need whether Martial, if he can stay fit, I'll say keep him. But if he can't stay fit, we need a true number nine that can come in and dominate the box. We need a midfield. We need wingers that are actually wingers. Like, guys, we need to start, stop getting ahead of ourselves and look at the game for what it is. Look at the team for what it is. Today was not good enough. You know, Sal Maxima just destroyed Dalo. Like, what's his name? Isak was in trouble for, you know, Veron and Martinez. I get it. Like it was just very, today was just kudos to Newcastle. Um, I always said this was going to be a tough game. Um, the Newcastle that we played in the finals, in the Carabao finals, was definitely not a true reflection of this Newcastle team. You know, I'm really, I'm really impressed with Eddie Howe, what he has done to this team. You know, it's really amazing to see the growth and the, you know, the confidence that these guys have. And I can, I'm only scared to see what they do next season. What they do next is in the transfer market. It's going to be crazy, guys. But I just wanted to rant because I'm just really upset. Yes, today wasn't a, wasn't necessarily a game where you know one player was you know worse than the other player. But I just want us to, to just look at everything and Ten Hag, be fair in your substitutions. Be fair. Be fair in your substitutions. You don't want to cause friction in the dressing room when a certain player keeps playing 90 minutes while other players who are performing better than him is being taken out, being sobbed off all the time. It's not cool. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. Please leave your comments. What did you think about this game? Am I overreacting? Are we overreacting? Or is it just another game that we've lost and we learned from our mistakes? Please let me know your comments. Till next time, take care, guys.